Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you. The independent, the honorable member for Lumezi. Yeah. Yeah. Madam Speaker, thank you so very kind for permitting the voice of Lumezi to make its own submissions on this motion of thanks. Madam Speaker, permit me to mention from the onset that um, I've got two different copies of the presidential speech. I will rely on what the Hansard has given me to speak to the speech. Yeah. Madam Speaker, we must be sincere with ourselves. Yeah. Madam Speaker, this is a government that can make the deaf to talk. Madam Speaker, last year we were told that employing 30,000 teachers, 11,000 healthy workers, Madam Speaker, you reduce the number of teachers from 30,000 to 4,500. The difference that they're employing this year. As a matter of fact, the President said this year you are employing 4,500 teachers. Madam Speaker, you talk of the cost of Minimio as a result of being in some instability somewhere. That's not true. The president had encouraged people last year to grow a lot of soya beans because he had found a market in China. The people in Lumezi grew a lot of soya and then what happened when it came to market soya, the government said they're not buying soya. Last year, the people in Lumezi were buying soya at 15 kwacha a kg. Today, they're buying soya beans, they're selling soya beans rather at six kwacha. Who misled who? And then we come here to mislead the Zambian people, to mislead the people of Lumezi, when you, you've deliberately created a narrative that farmers should grow soya because there is a buyer in China. And then, when there was a buyer in China, the president had not yet visited China. Now that he has visited China, we do not know whether he's coming to tell us to grow soya or not. Madam Speaker. <laughs> Madam Speaker, <laughs> the President came to talk of 1,700 kilometers of roads being rehabilitated and being done. Madam Speaker, Lundazi Chipata Road, not done. Chasefu Chama Road, not done. I don't know where the 1,700 kilometers are being done. The President talked of 149 schools completed. Where? The last boarding school in Lumezi was constructed under the MMD government. So, those that write speeches for the head of state should be paying attention to detail. They cannot allow the entire president to come here with false numbers. Mm. Madam Speaker, it's a fact. There is no 149 schools anywhere in this country that have been done in the last two years. Madam Speaker, you talk of SMEs, how the government is going to empower uh, small and medium entrepreneurs using the enhanced CDF. Enhanced CDF, why you've only given a 6 million kwacha. When we are yet to end the year, there is a deficit of 21 million kwacha. We cannot be preaching that we've given you CDF, telling the people in our constituencies to raise against members that there's 28 million kwacha, mm. when it is only 6 million kwacha. Yeah. Who is misleading who? And we are here saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Bola punch one. Honorable member, can you translate the bola punch? <laughs> no, trap the ball onto the ground and relax. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Speaker, you talk of saying the composition of CDF, exports of avocado 
and rose flowers. Madam Speaker, in Lumez we don't grow rose flowers. The President should have come here to tell the Zambian people how much maize we have exported into the DRC, into Tanzania, into Kenya, and not create a narrative that because of some instability somewhere, that's why the cost of milk is going high. This behavior of misleading people because we claim to be farmers when we are not farmers should come to an end. Madam Speaker, that whoever wrote that speech misled the President and they should have done a better job. Madam Speaker, rule of law. For the first time in the history of this country, Cap 12 that protects members of Parliament has been ignored by people that I suspect to be junkies. But some minister who is in charge of suspected junkies that were recruited by the PF government and he has continued to supervise those junkies is here. Madam Speaker. Honorable member, I've missed you. Who are these junkies? Are we talking about policemen or I'm lost there? Are there junkies who've come or can you please be very clear? And let's, let's be very factual so that we do, we do not mislead the people out there that they are junkies. I don't know whether it's in the police service. Can you be very specific and very clear? You may Madam continue. Madam Speaker, the current Inspector General of Police is on record and it's in the public domain that he said the previous government had employed junkies as policemen. And I suspect only junkies could not understand that Cap 12 is very instructive that um, for you to be in contempt of the house is interfering with our works either from when coming here or leaving this place. Only suspected junkies. I agree with the IG. And the minister who is in charge of suspected junkies is part of us. <laughs> Madam Speaker, <laughs> we must be factual. Madam Speaker, the President in his speech says we do not discriminate. Madam Speaker, this is a joke of the century. Madam Speaker, we've got members in this house deliberately being discriminated to sit in one of the most defunct committees because they are detested. <laughs> it is a fact. Order. Others are in two committees, Madam Order, Speaker. Order, Honorable Member, I think that is not in the presidential speech. The committee thing is not there. And more, for your own information, that one is administrative. So, like the Honorable Madam Speaker, when she finished the announcement, she said if there are any members who've got problems with the placements of individuals, they are free to go and see her. It's not an issue for debate on the floor of the House, because even if you debated it, I don't think the people out there would even understand you. So since it's administrative, please use the right channel to air your grievances on your committees. You may make progress on another issue. Madam Speaker, to an extent that it's administrative, I agree. But I also agree that it was in the presidential speech. He said we are not discriminative. And I was trying to raise a point why there is discrimination taking place. Madam Speaker, as a matter of fact, there is no constitutional amendment that can take place if this discrimination continues. Madam Speaker, the President should have been advised or told that the House is divided. There is no progressive constitutional amendment that can take place as it is right now. Madam Speaker, these are facts. Our colleagues believe that if they are brutal, taking a member into a cells meant for junkies will make them fall in love with them. They are misleading themselves and cheating themselves. The president talked of saying some of you borrowed from the imperialists and you don't want to talk about imperialism. We are not here to champion an agenda for the imperialists. We are here to push for an agenda for pan-Africanism. And those that do not subscribe to that thought should start counting their days because their stay 
in power is not in perpetuity it is temporal madam speaker i thank you this is dj mutati exclusive Savage. all right that's all for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.